Welcome to the A Minute to Midnight show. This is Tony, and with me I have my wife Holly, who many of you know from plenty of videos we've done, and our guest also in New Zealand today. It's an all New Zealand show, um, which doesn't happen that often, but here we go. We have Dr. Sam Bailey. Hi, thank you so much for having me on the show, Tony. <laughs> uh, it's a pleasure because um, we've seen you on other videos and been quite impressed with a lot of the content that you're putting out on your channel and so forth. And maybe you could well give the listeners a little bit of an idea. I'm sure the New Zealand listeners will know you, but the overseas ones, well, maybe not. So yeah. if you could just give a little bit of a background as to who you are and what you do. Sure. Thanks, Tony. Yeah, so I guess my background, I'm a conventionally trained doctor. I, I went to Otago Medical School in New Zealand and I graduated in about 2005. So my kind of area of um, training, I guess I've done a lot of work in clinical trials um, for about a, over a decade. So I sort of understand a lot about that cardiology, emergency medicine and general practice. But um yeah, for me, I'm not maybe it's so much of a typical doctor and that I'm, I have this YouTube channel and I, I tend to make videos now. And yeah, I guess um, I wrote a, a book and I'm author of a book as well, but um, I had an awakening last year. Probably many of your listeners already had this awakening a long time ago, but for me it happened. And um, yeah, and basically from there, I, um, I've i had just a, an overwhelming sense that there's something really wrong and we need to expose kind of what's going on. So you've written this book, actually, which is called... Uh, it's, an, it's a co-authored book, right? Yeah, yeah, so if you want to... Uh, quickly, Tony, I'll just tell you sort of my awakening story and it, how it leads into that because I think it's really important. So... You know, earlier last year, and I don't know how you guys found what happened to you, but um, say in January, February last year, you're getting these images of what's going on and, um, and then the sense that oh, this thing is really deadly. Um, I ended up, um, and at that time too, Italy was sort of happening, but it was really difficult to get any information out, you know, what was actually happening, the stats, who was dying, that sort of stuff. And maybe too, because it's a different language. And I started becoming really curious and very interested in what was going on in the science behind it. And so I started doing my own research. 